A video of a rickshaw puller breaking down in tears when his rickshaw was seized by government officials is being circulated on social media platforms. Indian social media users have been sharing this video with the claim that the law in our country only applies to poor people. The post also claims that this incident took place in West Bengal. The video yields a few clues. First, text imposed on the video is in Bengali and at the 25 second mark the crying person is speaking into a microphone carrying the logo of Jamuna TV. Jamuna TV is a Bangladeshi news channel. We searched for information about this video using the relevant keywords and found the same visuals in a video posted by Jamuna TV's official YouTube channel on 6th October 2020. We also found similar visuals in a YouTube video posted by Bangladesh news portal bdnews24.com. The accompanying description states that the rickshaw puller Fazlur Rahman was seen crying in Dhaka's Jigatala area after his vehicle was seized during the Dhaka South City Corporation or DSCC's eviction drive on 5th October 2020. Fazlur Rahman lost his job amid the coronavirus pandemic. He bought a battery-powered rickshaw for his livelihood by taking a loan of 80,000 Bangladeshi taka. Recently, the DSCC banned the movement of motorized, engine-driven and battery-run rickshaws and vans. Fazlur Rahman's rickshaw was seized in a resultant DSCC eviction drive on 5th October 2020. After the video of Fazlur Rahman crying went viral on social media platforms, a few donors came forward to support him. According to an article published by the Dhaka Tribune, a Bangladeshi e-commerce company called Shwapno donated two rickshaws to Fazlur Rahman. A Times Now article says that a stranger donated rickshaws to two other rickshaw pullers. As a video of a Bangladeshi rickshaw puller crying is being shared as being from West Bengal, this post is fake. When you come across a piece of news that seems too ridiculous to be true, don't leave things to doubt. Run searches on Google and Yandex and weigh out the true and false of the situation for yourself by looking at the facts. But first of all, before you hit that forward button, pause.